Okay, you guys. So, to get this fixed to work, you need 55 millimeter bolts, some spacers, doesn't matter if you buy like this type or just some washers, just something to space it out an extra four to five millimeters. You will need an extra collar and a thrust bearing along with your original bearing and your original collar and that shim that goes in the middle. You will have to move your screw back just a little bit which means you're going to un have to untighten both ends. The coupler will scoot back a little bit as you can see it's not all the way up like it used to be and what you'll do is you'll tighten this entire motor side down. You'll get everything tight. Then when you go to this side all you have to do is place these on the outside, loosen this side up, bring your gantry up to the front so that you can put a clamp here and here or even a, a ratchet strap will work. You're going to turn your motors on and then you're going, going to uh, ratchet it down or tighten it down, whichever. And once you're done uh, putting tension on this screw, you'll use this tool to tighten things down on this end. So basically everything is all snug together before you tighten this coupler down, this uh, uh, collar down right here. Once you're done tightening this collar down and then you push this bearing and collar back up into place and tighten it down, you can take this off and then release the tension from the strap right or, or uh, clamp that's going across and your gantry or your access will be tensioned. Now, to show you the difference between a tensioned access and a non-tensioned access. That's the type of whip you can expect out of a tensioned access. This is what you get out of a non-tensioned access. And when I tensioned down one side and ran the, the uh, Y and A axis back, I ran it at... Uh, approximately 800 RPMs and I got no whip out of this side but the other side I got whip out of because I hadn't fixed it yet so this will give you guys an update on how to do this